Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. It's a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. It starts by getting a streptococcal infection, most likely in the pharynx. And then the body crosses immunity between the bacteria and the kidney tissue. And then produces antibodies that are supposed to fight the bacteria, but instead they fight the kidneys. And this, of course, compromises the kidney function. If we take a sample of the kidney during the attack, we'll see hypercellularity with enlarged glomeruli. And if we put the sample under the electron microscope, we'll see subepithelial immune complex humps. These are highly characteristic of PSGN. And if we use immunofluorescence dye in our sample, we'll see granular appearance that resembles starry sky. These dots are the immunoglobins deposited. If we zoom back out to the patient, the patient will be having hematuria with hypertension. These are the most important symptoms that you'll have to memorize. So the telltale presentation is having throat infection. Most of the time it's very mild and presents with congestion, maybe a little bit of fever. Two weeks later, the patient presents with hematuria and hypertension. And if we take a blood sample during the attack, we'll see a low complement system type 3, and we'll see increased ASO, and increased anti-DNAs, and anti hyaluronidases If we wait about a week or so, the body will clear out these defective antibodies and the patient is effectively treated. So the treatment is mainly supportive and waiting out the disease. If you're going to have to give any treatment, most of the time it's going to be for the hypertension. And here's a small quiz. If a patient got a strep infection in the throat and then they developed hematuria with hypertension only four days after the infection, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Like we said, PSGN is developing these symptoms two weeks after the throat infection. If it's a very short period like this, it is likely immunoglobin A nephropathy, which we'll talk more about in another video. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully this helps.